Hello everybody, we are here as you can see at Universal City Walk outside of Universal Studios in Florida and Islands of Adventure and we are here today because we want to check out Mistletoe Pines. Uh, we've walked by it several times, walked so through it, talked about it a little bit, but we haven't actually tried to experience yeah. it. And it's a really cute little sort of outdoor, almost like they tried to create a, a town, like a snowy, you know, mountaintop, almost like a Colorado ski town, Mistletoe Pines or, or wherever. Um, and then it sounds like a lifetime movie. Yeah, it does sound like it sounds like a lifetime movie. Uh, so we want to check it out. Um, we'll spend a little bit of time in there, and then I think we're going to head into uh, Islands of Adventure or Universal Studios. We'll see. They're actually starting to open up later now. They're open up till like nine or ten o'clock. They had been closing at like five or six, yeah. and I'm like, what? Like people people don't even get off work till then. Like I can't yeah. even get to the park. So um, yeah, they're staying open later, so we can actually give it a shot. So. We'll hit up Mistletoe Pines, maybe stop in one of the parks and make the rounds, uh, see some, uh, maybe get some snacks or something, I don't know. So stay tuned. Here we are at Mistletoe Pines out here at the edge of City Walk here, right? Actually, it's kind of in the middle of City Walk, but right outside of Islands of Adventure and Universal, kind of in the middle. I just really like how they have, they have all these like um, cute little like billboards almost. And I think I said it in another video where it's kind of like Halloween Horror Nights. It reminds me of the like billboards that they have in some of the Halloween Horror Nights uh, outside of some of the haunted houses. Mistletoe Pines. I don't know that, I don't know how this is supposed to work, but we're going to do it anyway. We're going to try. Mistletoe? <laughs> I don't know. We made it up. All right, so we found, we found, uh, I was just talking about this billboard and we noticed it says under the mistletoe on the billboard and then there's a mistletoe. So we're gonna follow the tradition and under the mistletoe, moochies. Oh, I didn't even get you in the video. Here, try that again. Moochie. I think I'm we got it. <laughs> I think I got like the top of your head when we were kissing. So anyway, that's cute. The first little booth here, right on your left when you enter Mistletoe Pines, is the Holiday Sweets. It says Village Sweets Holiday Apples and Cookies. So like, I definitely want to try something here. Mmm. I don't know what I want to try, but it all looks good. They have that holiday heart, holiday jar cake right there, which is very looks very much pretty much the same as the um, Earl's holiday jar that's in the holiday tribute store so I'm gonna assume it's the same word I think I'm gonna wait to get that when I want to get the, the Earl's version of it ooh chocolate dipped bacon oh I gotta try that I see they have Earl the squirrel as a cookie a gingerbread cookie and a giant acorn for a gingerbread cookie but I'm not really a fan of gingerbread because they don't I feel like they're too mushy if they were crisp I would probably go for it Okie dokie, so as I said, I got the chocolate dipped bacon. I had to get the bacon. That looked bussin' and it was seven dollars and seven dollars. It was seven dollars for the bacon. And we also got the cashews. We got the cashews because we've already tried the the squirrel on it. Yeah, we've already tried the cinnamon glazed pecans at Epcot. Yeah. And so we're like they're probably gonna be similar. So they yeah. had pecans, they had almonds, they had cashews. I was like, let's try the cashews and today. I love cashews. And the cashews, this was seven dollars and fifty cents for this bag, but they did have a deal where it was buy two get one free so that's a steal you yeah, can, you can try all three of them it, but, but it was just too much for us but um yeah i want to give this a rip they and have a lot of really good stuff pass? we get annual pass yeah. discount hold on let me get it all the paper because it's sure it's crunching bacon, so. crunching you to death here wow it's really wrapped in there, are there how many are there just, just one? one yeah okay. just one sure. oh, okay so that's expensive it was one there's only one Yummy. for $7. Yeah, you get one piece of bacon wrapped in chocolate for $7. That's a lot. It is a lot, but I don't care. It's bacon, and I want to try it. I'm going to give it a rip. Hey, it's hard to eat. It's worth the $7. You think? I like it a lot. I feel like she's going to be like, nah, it's all right. I'm not even like a huge bacon person. And I love bacon. I'm not. I'm not the Love kind of person bacon. that's like like. You know how people I feel are like. like that's like a semi-sweet chocolate. Yeah, it is a little bittery, but you know how people are like. Bacon makes everything better. Bacon, every bacon, bacon, bacon. I'm not that kind of person, but. I think 
think seven dollars. I like this a lot. lot for a piece of bacon, which I love it. I don't care. The bacon is good. You could buy like an entire pack of bacon for three dollars at Walmart. <laughs> I like it, but not like, it's good. but not chocolate covered bacon. No, I like. Can I have another bite? <laughs> no, you said you didn't like it. Okay. I didn't say I didn't like it. I just said like it's okay. I would like it more if it was like two or three dollars. I've almost gotten half of this in my mouth. The rest has gone on my arm. <laughs> yeah, it's like breaking. It's gone. Wait, the whole thing right there in the video. It's a little pricey. I won't lie. Yeah. I don't I care, though. I we were going to get, like, three pieces. If he opened it, it was one. I was like, huh? I knew it was going to be one. <laughs> it's pricey. A little pricey, yeah. but it's it's good. Yeah, it's really not good. bad. It's just, like... I've never had chocolate dip bacon, so, for me, yeah. I loved it. All right. Let's try the almonds. No. Cashews. <laughs> I mean... Cashews. <laughs> Why did I say almonds? This is my penance. This is what I get for being a tool. I was like, I'm gonna have to put that bacon in my pan. Nope, just the nuts. So the the uh, these are warm. Are they? Yeah. Pretty decent size. Look at that. Yummy. What do you think? They're good. They're good. And I like that they're warm. It's seven fifty, which I feel like this is way more worth the money. I don't know if you can see in there. I don't know about that. Maybe. But I still even think these should be like four or five dollars. But they're good. You know. Do you think they're better here at this nuts? I like the same, but I prefer the pecans. To the, all to the cashews. I like cashews, Same. but I feel like the pecans, I like them better. So now, we need to try the almonds now. We haven't tried almonds. Yeah. Maybe tomorrow. I'm just going to keep eating these. I'm just going to let the video roll, and you're going you're gonna to watch 30 minutes of <laughs> me just eating almonds. Cashews! <laughs> what? Why do I keep saying almonds? I don't know. Now the title of this video is going to be 30 minutes of eating almonds. And it's <laughs> going to be cashews. And it's going to be 30 minutes of me just eating cashews. Are you done? I'm not done until that's gone. All right, we're moving on. I'm trying to save some for later. Let's keep on cruising. When we get home. All right, so we made it into the first part of Mistletoe Pines. And we, we, we already got stopped and got some delicious cashews slash almonds. And bacon but uh, there's a hair wrap tattoo place again this is not like this is always here but it's kind of been wrapped into the mistletoe pines it says tattoos I don't know if it's permanent tattoos yeah, or temporary tattoos but it says hair wraps and tattoos but it has they have hair tinsel which is cute festive feathers and beard ornaments so I don't know I don't know that I've ever seen anybody wearing ornaments in their beards but that could be cool that would be cool well yeah Johnny Depp that's sure I forgot I forgot about that mistletoe pines I like this Again, it's kind of like Elevation 2800, like you're up in the mountains. I think it's cute. What's this? What's this one right here? What's this? This next, like, booth. Oh, it looks like more snacks and... Ooh, now I gotta check this out. Mm. Well, they got a bunch of little, like, desserts here. Ooh, and then they have some adult beverages down here. Ooh, they have different nogs. Eggnogs, that sounds... That actually sounds pretty good. I'm going to have to try one of these because I want to kind of compare it to some of the festival of the holidays stuff we've been doing at Epcot. Um, there's this, look at that cinnamon whiskey fire nog there. That sounds interesting. What do we got treat wise over here? Mmm. Mmm. Yum. I don't know what all these little, little things are, but they look good. What's the cookie butter Santa puff? I don't know what that is. This says cookie here. butter Santa puff. It is. It's it's up here. It tells you what's in them. So the cookie butter Santa puff is belt buckle cream puff, 
filled with cookie butter. Hmm. I don't know what that is. Where's the frozen hot cocoa? It says hot chocolate mousse. Is that what that is down there? Yeah, that is what it is, right there. That's the frozen hot cocoa. It doesn't look very frozen, but maybe it is. Huh. Okay, let's try some. Okay, so literally this, like the next booth that we saw yeah. to the left in the Mistletoe Pines is called Festive Flavors. And they had a bunch of little snacks and stuff, but because we just murdered two snacks. Yeah, and they're real sugary snacks. I'm like, so. oh, I need a break from the snacks. But we, we did get a drink. Why did I hit that? <laughs> I have no idea. Uh, so we saw that they had some, they also had some adult beverages here, and we decided to go for one of them, and it was $13.50, and it's called the Spicy Nog. So it's basically, it says it's a spicy eggnog, with a cinnamon whiskey in it. Yeah, so it's pretty big. Sounds good. It was thirteen dollars and fifty cents, and it. Now I will tell you, I watched her make this, and it yeah. was a pre-mix of eggnog that she put in the cup about three quarters of the way up, and then I saw her pour the actual cinnamon whiskey from the bottle in to here. So the alcohol is definitely in here. It's not like some of the Disney mixes or even Universal, where it's in yeah. like a barrel and it's like rotating, and then you just get whatever you get, like. Yeah, this is the way you need there. to do a premix, in my yeah. opinion, where you where you put I'm in the surprised. mix, and yeah. then you pour in the alcohol from the bottle. In my opinion, that's the only way it should be done. Otherwise, I feel like you get an unfair mix. Yeah. What's your, Please, what's your name? What's up, guys? I'm Charlie. Charlie? Yeah. Charlie? His name's Charles. Oh, really? It is. It's Charles. Charles. Yeah. Charles. Yeah. 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 Best Charles name in the book. Best yeah. name. It is. Uh, well, we just made a new friend. <laughs> new friend. Charlie. Um, Charlie. So let's give it a shot and see what happens. It's really good. I tasted it because mm -hmm. I, I felt like it was going to spill, so I already tasted it. And I told him, I was like, it's good. Wow, it's really good. <laughs> yeah. It's a lot better than I thought it was going to be. What was that one that we had at Epcot that was supposed to have cinnamon in it? Cinnamon whiskey. And we didn't taste the cinnamon whiskey in it at all. That's what I had last time. I think it was a hot cocoa. Some sort of hot cocoa. Yeah. There was a hot cocoa that we had. There was a hot cocoa that we had that I think was supposed to have cinnamon whiskey and... I don't remember what else. Something else, rum or something. And it did. And it just tasted like hot chocolate. <laughs> it did not, it did it not taste at all. No. You I can like taste it in here. That's what, well, I said that in the. I remember saying yeah. that. I said, did they give you the non-alcoholic one? I'm like, well, we paid for the alcoholic one. Yeah. So. Oh my gosh! <laughs> I knew he was gonna like it. I tasted it because I was like, they like fill it to the top. I'm like, I'm gonna spill it. And I was like, he's gonna like this one. Apparently, I just really love eggnog too. <laughs> I think you're you're starting to discover it she is likes spicy, eggnog. So I'm surprised he likes it. She doesn't drink. She's no, never I drank always eggnog. Said I didn't like eggnog, but she I did. never actually even tried it. She's always been like eggnog. That's disgusting because it sounds but gross. Now I've tried it. And now she's recently tried it a couple times. Both now, times granted, it, it does alcohol. have alcohol in it, <laughs> and that kind of jades it. But yeah. I think she I think she's she's discovering she yeah. likes eggnog. I've always known that I liked it, but now I'm I'm like rediscovering my love for it because I honestly haven't had it for years. It is amazing, actually. It's huge. Festive uh, flavors right here in Mistletoe Pines. The spicy nog is Get amazing. It. Get it. Oh, my goodness. It makes me think their other um, eggnog drinks are, there, are good there, too. They have like, several. There was like four or five, I think, you saw on, yeah. the, you saw on the video. And this is amazing. And if we come back before the holidays are over, we'll try a yeah. different one. Well worth thirteen fifty. Well worth $13.50. Some of the other ones they had, you, you can see it on the video. Well worth, let's just walk, because I'm now I'm just like, mm, I'm just gonna drink this for the next hour. <laughs> I might have to get one on our way out too. It's so good. I knew, I, I knew he was gonna like it on my first mm. sip. <laughs> it's amazing. One of the best drinks I've ever had. I, I've said that, I feel like every time it's like this kind of like eggnoggy, like the cookies and milk thing we got at Jock Holidays was amazing. He likes the warm flavors. There's something about this that's just, oh, okay. and it's so Christmas. This is Christmas in a cup. I cannot say enough good things about it. I can't, I just keep going on and on. I should have stopped this bit at least five minutes ago, but I can't stop talking about how good this is. You got to try it. Mm. All right, our next booth here, right after the festive flavors is just an, it's just an alcohol station. And this is always here. It's not. I mean, it is part of Mistletoe Pines, and so they've sort of 
added some decorations. And you can see they actually do have some holiday specialties here. So they have like a white chocolate candy cane milk, St. Bernardus Christmas Ale, Whole Hog Hazelnut Brownie Porter, and Kentucky Bourbon Coffee Stout, which all sound really good. Um, so that's cool. Yeah, we, we should come back and try this one the next time we're here. But it, so just a heads up, they've sort of transformed even the booths that are always kind of in City Walk to fit in Mistletoe Pines and they've added some holiday stuff. So it's pretty cute. Give it a shot. We'll come back and try some of this. Yeah, it looks like we have some sort of mistletoe pines character art. And ornaments. Custom holiday ornaments and custom artwork. So I'm guessing you can get like characters. Yeah, look. So here's the prices. It says you can get like, I don't know what a tube is. A matte framed colored face. It looks like there's a family over here getting their portraits drawn right now. Try to catch a glimpse of their picture without getting their actual faces. That's cute. Design your own ornaments. Ooh, that looks cool. Look at this. Look at this. Did you see this? Look. Design your own ornaments. How cute is that? I love it. Oh, we should do that. That's really cute. You can you can just bring like a picture or an image or something, and then they can make an ornament out of it. That's really cute. Oh, and they have metal ones. Yeah. Wood. Porcelain. Oh, wow. That's really cool. I wasn't expecting that. So, Mistletoe Pines, yeah, a lot of different stuff here. Check it out. Okay, we made it to the exit of Mistletoe Pines. Uh, I'll turn around and give you a glimpse of it. So, this is the other side of it. So, you can also come in this side. This is from the Universal side. We came in from the Islands of the Adventure side on the other side. But it's very adorable. Um, it's not very big, but there's a lot of there's a lot of cool stuff packed in such a small little area. I feel like it's really cute. And definitely, if you drink alcohol, definitely stop at the drinks place because the drinks are good. I mean, we've only had one, but I feel like they're all good. yeah, I really do. I honestly feel like Universal Studios and Isles Adventure Universal is really hitting it really well on the on the drinks. So this we're gonna walk around the outside of this. I just kind of want to see what it looks like from the outside. Yeah, so then there's like the, they have the kiosks that are always here, but they've updated the merchandise with just primarily holiday Christmas merchandise. You got the Grinch stuff here. You've got the awesome Earl the Squirrel gear here. Oh yeah, they do have little stickers you can put on your gift bags and stuff in your, in your, in your um, wrapped packages. And they have an Earl the Squirrel ornament too. What is it, $29.99? 30 bucks, yeah. That's about right. Just some more. Oh, they have they even have mistletoe pine shirts. That's cool. Yep. So if you really dig the mistletoe pines, you can get a memory of it. Looks like we got a little live music down there. So that was Mistletoe Pines. Um, I thought it was super adorable and cute. It really is. Uh, I, I was impressed. I mean, we've, we've walked through it and I thought it looked cute, but we haven't really like hyper analyzed yeah. it and it was really cute. We've um, usually already ate or drank something yeah. or whatever. Like, I, I feel like, like I feel like we could go, I feel like we could go home at this point. Yeah. Like we, I feel like we had an adventure just in that small little space. I feel like our daughter's gonna like it. We're gonna bring her here and ha let her have a treat. She, yeah. yeah, I feel like we could have just done that. Maybe a couple stores around here, like the Universal store, yeah. a couple ret retail shops, maybe grabbed um, a bite to eat at one of the restaurants here and then called yeah. it a night. We don't even need to go in the park, but... Definitely stop there. It's very cute. But we are headed into the park now. Yes. I think we're going to head into Islands of Adventure. Yep. And we're going to see what damage we can do. Like I'm ready. Let's do some rides. What do you think? What do you want to do? I kind of want to eat because only because we're walking by uh, Margaritaville right now. It smells good. There and it smells good. It does smell good. <laughs> I want to ride Spider-Man. Always got to do Spider-Man. Let's see what we can get into. I'm excited. Let's do it. We just rode Spider-Man. I love that ride. It's my favorite ride at Islands of Adventure. It's so good. Every time I ride it, I'm always like, I don't understand how they did all this. Who, who invented that? 
I love the like, ride. Like, who came up with that ride? I love the ride. I love the music. I love the narration. I love everything about it. I still don't know why. I still don't know why the starting to heat up part. He had, like, it didn't work for, like, months and months and months. And then, like, one time we wrote it and it was working again. And I was like, oh, they finally brought the heat back. And I haven't felt it ever since. So, that's dusty. That's dusty. Anyway. It's only a 10 minute wait for Kong. Might just have to give it a go. No. Look at this little gizmo backpack. How cute it is. Gremlins, it says lounge fly on it. It's $82 though, so it's pretty expensive. It's very cute though. And look, they have a little wallet. I don't know why the wallet is $55 too, but it's cute. I guess because it's lounge fly. I mean, it's very cute. It's like fuzzy. So there you have it. Just a quick trip to Mistletoe Pines, a little bit of Islands Adventure. Rode a few rides, a lot of fun. Uh, so thanks for joining us. It's been a, it's been a lot of fun. Until tomorrow, the noble way. Bye-bye, everybody.